Hello, my name's Andrea Coleman and I'm going to demonstrate for you how to make an art felt heart. Take your foam square from your kit, cut it in half and then cut it in half again leaving you with a quarter then cut out a small sugar cube size out of the point put it away and then just take the very tops off the four of your corners leaving this corner intact. Throw those away. Then we can start using your felting needle to cover the foam. I take a small strip from the length of your fleece, open it out very slightly and we're going to cover the edges first because they they are the ones that get forgotten most often so wrap it round those edges and with your needle secure it into place paying a lot of attention to the indented area of your Heart. You can take quite a bit of time over getting this securely in because this is an important part to have firmly in place. The needle is very, very sharp, so make sure the hand that's holding your heart in place is always well away from the point of your needle. Once that's done, take the fleece and pull out small amounts going in two different directions. And we're going to use these overhanging fibres, so they're important. So then just secure with the needle again in the foam these fibres. And then we'll turn it over and then push these overhanging fibres into place. always keeping these edges nicely poked in and don't forget pay extra attention to the dip in your heart it can be lost quite easily And then we'll repeat the process on this side. So, OK, 
carry on covering your heart and we'll do exactly the same again, secure in place with the needle. Turn it over, get all those loose ends tucked in. Again, lots of attention to the dip. Don't worry if it looks a bit raggedy, that's quite normal. So once you've done both sides, have a really good look all over and see if you can see any bald patches. And if you find one, we can patch it up. So I've got one here, just secure all around it and it's a bit like a sticking plaster, we'll place some fleece in different directions over it and then secure. Once your heart is covered with its fleece, you can start to make it look a bit more interesting by adding other colours. So I do that by just pulling small amounts out and placing them in different directions. And it soon starts to get more interesting looking. see the colours start to get richer with the thin layers that you put on. When you're happy with what you've done, you can turn it over and secure these fibres in. So exactly as you've done with the layers before. Poke it in. Don't over poke it now. We want these fibres to be fairly loose on top. Secure it in on this side.
don't forget the dip and then we repeat exactly the same as we've just done on this side I just always use very thin bits at a time to create an interesting effect. You can do, do it as long as you like, as, as long as they're thin bits. When you're happy, with what you've done. Secure it into place and just repeat the process on this side. Turn it over And then, when you're happy with the way it looks, we can add the silk in your kit. So, get your silk, and you don't need very much, we'll just open it all out like a cobweb and place it on your heart pulling it out and then wrap it round to the other side and secure it in place. Not too many pokes, otherwise it will disappear. Right, now you're ready for the soapy water part. So grab your bubble wrap, place your heart in the middle, get your soap and water, and Completely saturate your heart and then pat it gently. If the fibres lift up, it might not be wet enough. And then just 
turn it over and keep patting quite, quite gently at first. Don't forget your dip. And here it's too dry, for instance. Let's give it a bit more water on these top bits. Just gently persuade the fibres to cling onto each other. Don't worry, if the pointy part seems really long, it can always be trimmed at a later time. But they tend to all mesh in together anyway, the fibres. But constantly move it about from different directions. You can just encourage the dip. If you start to get wrinkles, um, just open them out a little bit and pat or even stroke. Don't worry if your heart feels very baggy, it's quite normal at this stage. Notice that the fibres are lifting less now, um, and it just shows that they're beginning to connect better with each other. You can start to stroke it gently. If the fibres lift, just add a little bit more soap and water. You must slide across the fibres at this stage. You don't want to lift them up with your rubbing. If your heart's a little bit boxy at the edges, just rub along the edges like this. And you'll lose that boxiness. The places you rub are the places it, it will shrink the most. Forget that dip. 
try and encourage the shape. Curve your hands around the wider part. Look out for any wrinkles. Try to get rid of them if you can see them. If you need more soapy water, just add it. It has to be absolutely soaking wet. And begin to rub and very gently on your bubble wrap. But never for very long in one place. And then go back to a bit of patting. Rub with your hands. Get rid of any boxy edges. Suddenly start to firm up and you'll feel the difference. Run your little finger in the dip. See, I'm starting to be rougher with it. Rough those edges, see, a nice rounded heart. It's not quite symmetrical, just rub the area that is biggest. Very nearly done. Just carry on a bit more of the same. You can even use the bubble wrap to rub against it. You can felt it too much. Um, be cautious. If it starts to get a bit lumpy, you're probably beginning to go too far. So just try to smooth out any lumps and I suggest you, you don't rub any more in that area. The 
I think this is about ready now. There we are. I think that's a, a nice heart. All it needs to be is rinsed, squeeze out the excess water and put it to dry somewhere. Now you've completed your first heart, go on and make the other three. And after you've done that, maybe you'd like to make a mouse.